Hi everyone, this is Dom Designs and today I'll teach you how to draw this flat design American football in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, let's start off by creating a document size of 1920 by 1080 pixels and click create. I'll then drag in an image of a football I found on Google into my canvas. Once I'm content with the placement, I'll then turn this layer into a template. I'll then create a new layer and name it outline. All of our line work will be created on this layer. Next, let's go to our color palette to set up our outline options. I'll remove the white fill and select a black stroke with a 10 points thickness. Don't forget to round off the caps in the corners. Using the ellipse tool, I'll start by creating the outline of the football by combining two circles together like so. I'll then select both circles and bring up the shape builder tool which is Shift M on your keyboard. Going over the gray outside area, I will option click to delete the unwanted shapes. Finally, using direct selection tool, I'll round off the two corners like so. For this part, I will be using an oval. Try to line it up with the bottom of the white area. Then, I'll delete the bottom anchor point to create a curve with the direct selection tool. I'll then duplicate the curve and place it above like so, and adjust to make sure it lines up with the top of the white area. I'll then use the pen tool to connect our two curves to create a closed shape. Let's select all and bring up the shape builder tool to delete the excess shapes. Now that the top part is done, I'll duplicate it to the bottom using the reflect tool. I'll option click at any center point of the drawing and this will bring up the reflect panel options. I'll then set it to horizontal and then click on copy. Next, I'll draw the line at the center of the football using the pen tool. I'll click on the line, creating multiple points. I'll then select specific points and delete them by creating gaps. I do this to all my artworks, it's more of a stylistic preference. Next, let's create the laces at the center using the rectangle tool. For this top vertical lace, I'll round off the corners. Then I'll go to the effect panel at the top and select warp. Play with the options until you get something you like. Once you're happy, go to the top menu again and select object, expand appearance. This will turn our line work into an object. I'll then duplicate and reflect the top lace and place it at the bottom. Now let's select all our laces, bring up the shape builder tool and click in the center. Then we can just delete the unwanted shapes. This is perfect. Let's add the laces in the middle. For that, I'll draw a line with the pen tool and center it. I'll then bring up the width tool and click and drag in the center to make the middle part thicker. Once we're happy with that, we can head over to the object menu at the top and go to path, then outline stroke to turn it into a shape. Let's then replace the fill with our black stroke and multiply the lace below. Finally, we will select the laces, then head over to the Shape Builder tool once more. With the Shape Builder tool active, we will click on all the middle parts to separate them into individual shapes. Once completed, we can then just go delete the, all the unwanted shapes. To finish off the outline process, I'll bring up the Width tool, which is Shift W on your keyboard, and just click and drag to vary the middle lines I created. I find that this makes the illustration look more interesting by having varied stroke sizes and tapering the lines closely. Of course, this is just my style, you don't need to do this. Also, let's not forget about the detailing on both sides of the laces. I'll create them with the pen tool and then change my stroke option to dashed line. I'll then play with the units below until I get something I like. Alright, now's the time to add color to our football. I'll create a new layer below the outline layer and name it color. Okay, I'll start by selecting our two lines at the top and bottom and head over to the layer panel. Then, I'll click and drag the little red square below to the color layer. 
I'll then select all the remaining closed shapes on the outline layer and head back to the layer panel. This time I will hold down Option on my keyboard and drag the red square down to the color layer once more. This time what we did is copy these shapes onto a new layer. Alright, now let's lock down the outline layer and select the overall football shape on the color layer. I'll then remove the stroke and give it a nice bright brown color. Great, now let's send that shape all the way to the back. For the white area, I'll just replace the black stroke to a light gray color. We don't want a stroke for this shape, but it's just my preference. Let's also add the color to the laces. Awesome, now let's add the shadows and highlights. Our light source is coming from the left, so I'll make the right side of the ball darker. Let's create a rectangle that cuts off at the center of the ball and color it a dark brown. Then, I'll select the rectangle and the football shape, bring up the shape builder tool and delete the excess shape. I'll then send the shadow behind our lines. Now I'll create a deep shadow that follows the shape of the ball. Let's select our stroke on the outline layer, go to the panel at the top and select Object Offset Path. Once we are good with the shape inside the ball, we can then delete the anchor points like so. I'll then make the center of the stroke thicker using the width tool. And to end things off, I'll go to the object menu and select outline stroke. Once this has become a shape, I'll give it a dark brown color. Alright, so I'll want the shadow to be cast on the white areas of the ball as well. For this, I'll have to adapt. Let's select the white area and do a copy and paste in front. We will then select the shadow and the two white areas and bring up the shape builder tool. I'll then click on the white areas on the right, which in turn will make them into individual shapes. We can then give the right shapes on the right side a dark tone to create the shadow. Finally, I'll give the ball some highlights. Select the main shape of the football and do a copy and paste in place twice. This gives us three layers of shapes superimposed on each other. Select the top layer and move it to the right to create a gap on the left. We can then select the top two layers and bring up the shape builder tool to delete the excess shapes on the side. This shape is now our highlight, which we will give a white color to with a dim down opacity. Alright, so I'll end off this tutorial with a time lapse, so I'll see you at the end of the video. And there you have it. This is how I draw a flat design American football in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to reading your comments below. Cheers everyone!